The Wall Street is officially in a bear market. What does that mean? Simply put, it is when an index falls 20% or more. The Standard and Poor slid to 3749 on Monday. That's nearly 22% below its high set in January. As for the Nasdaq, it is already in a bear market. The Nasdaq is down 32.7% from its peak in November. And the Dow Jones is down nearly 17%. And these are all signs of a bear market. So why is it called a bear market? Bears usually hibernate, so they are used to represent a market that's retreating. And the last such market happened just two years ago. So what is bothering the investors now? In short, inflation and the Federal Reserve's efforts to tame it. Interest rates are the market's enemy number one. On Friday, U.S. inflation report showed prices rising 8.6% in May. This is the fastest rate since 1981. This means the Fed will have to be more aggressive with the interest hikes. The Federal Reserve is set to announce its new policy. Low rates are a favorite of the market, so investors are now nervous about what the Fed will do next. Many believe the Fed could enter uncharted territory, a 75 basis points hike, and if that happens, it will be a very rare move. The last time the Fed hiked rates by 75 basis points was way back in 1994. So how long will the bear market last? On an average, bear markets have taken 13 months to go from peak to trough. Historically, the faster an index enters into a bear market, the shallower it usually is. The bear market in U.S. stocks could even be an indicator of tougher times. It has often come hand in hand with recession. Since 1948, nine out of 12 bear markets have been accompanied by recessions. So the U.S. bear market growl could mean that recession is in the wings. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.